You made it out. Your ear. It's just a scratch. I'm fine. Well, we better find Torque and get home so I can patch it up. Well, this stinks. How are we going to get more money? We'll think of something. What I really want to know is why Spade is working for Mayor Zhao. Mm, but loads of cash? Well, Zhao might know something about the assassination, but that still doesn't explain what he needs the stone for. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about all this. What? Someone's following us. What do you mean? Yeah! Ah! Wait, someone with a shield pulled me out of the cave. It must have been her. <laughs> Sorry about bouncing on ya. Hello? I'm sorry? Don't be scared. I promise we'll keep you safe. Are you a dragon? Yeah. Can... Can I touch your hair? Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. No, no, it's okay. I was just surprised is all. Go ahead. I won't hurt you. <laughs> it's like a rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can be friends. Sure. I'm Mila. What's your name? Lilac. That's a pretty name. <laughs> Thanks. This is my friend Carol. Hi. So, thanks for saving me back there. But what are you doing all the way out here? I was playing over here, and then those people came. They're not very nice. I'll say. You know what? You can come to our secret hideout. What? what? Really? Yeah. Nobody knows where it is except us. That sounds like fun! The Kingdom Stone has been taken! Your Excellency! By who? Mayor Zhao! His pilgrimage to the temple was a cover-up! This is troubling. Zhao may be a buffoon, but I never believed he was capable of this. A pair of youngsters warned us about the attack. I refuse to listen. I have failed you, Magister. Don't be hard on yourself, General. I would have been just as skeptical. Tell me, who was it that issued this warning? Something doesn't smell right. Well, sorry! You never smell right. I'm referring to those kids. They know something about this. We have to find them. Quack. You sure you don't want to hang out with us? Thanks, but I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna try and fix my gadgets. Fair enough. Just shout if you need anything. Alright. What are you gonna be up to? Oh, we should have plenty of things to do. Especially with a new girl around. I'm bored. How about a movie? Sure! Mm, why not? I've got to save the world! I've got to save Avalyn! Not like a couple traitors like yourselves would care. Lilac! Lilac! <laughs> Torque's up! I mean, I went down there and, and he's... Uh, I mean... Calm he's... down, what is it? Torque turned into an alien or something! What? Just come with me, come on! <sighs> I probably had a bad dream. I'm serious, get up! Come on, get up, get All up! Alright, let me get my shoes on! Torque? <laughs> it's not what it looks like! What are you? Give us answers, buddy! Okay, okay, I'll tell you. But you have to promise to keep it to yourselves. We promise. Right, Carol? Mm, right. Pinky swear. I'm from another world. Actually, I'm part of an alliance between many different worlds. 
were called chasers. So you're an alien then? Pretty much, yeah. So why do a bunch of aliens care about our planet? The man that wants your kingdom stone isn't from around here either. He calls himself Lord Brevin. Lord? Well, he didn't get that name selling cookies. He's dangerous with a capital D. Brevin is the most powerful enemy we've ever faced. Hundreds of worlds destroyed. Thousands of heroes killed or corrupted. Enormous amounts of weapon energy stolen. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. According to our scans, the Kingdom Stone has enough energy to double the size of his army. If he gets it, he'll be unstoppable. I'll try and convince your leaders of his existence, but if I can't get them to help me, if Brevin gets his hands on the Kingdom Stone, then I'll have no choice. I'll have to destroy it. Destroy it? You can't be serious! I'll only destroy it if I have no other choice. I swore to my captain on his dying breath that I would not let Brevin get that stone. I'm sorry about your captain, but you can't destroy it. In fact, you won't even have to think about it because I'm going to help you get it back. I don't care how dangerous it is. It's going to take a lot more than robots and aliens to slow a dragon down. If she's going to go for it, then I am too. If we can beat up a giant praying mantis thing together, then who knows what else we can do. I want to come too! I guess we could let you save Carol's life a few more times. Hey! Yay! So the three of you are really going to help me stop him? Say no more, Team Lilac's got your back! We'll talk about the name later, okay? I'd be lying if I said I was comfortable with this, but I honestly could use your help. You all know this world better than I do. So, it's official, right? <laughs> More or less. Welcome aboard, ladies. Yes! Awesome! Wonderful! Good evening, sir. It may interest you to know that the location of the artifact has shifted. Where? It's moving toward a densely populated region to the east. This could work to our advantage. Get me the king's son. Where do your duties lie, prince? It is my duty to protect my father's kingdom. You would sacrifice your very life for the good of this kingdom. Wouldn't you? Yes. And you would crush all those who threaten its safety. We must protect it at all costs. Exactly. The one you call Zhao has taken something very precious. Something that could put your kingdom at risk. You're not going to let him keep it, are you? Revenge is upon us, my fellow kin. We have confirmed who is responsible for the death of our king. Zhao of Shangmu. His plans to steal our kingdom stone must be stopped. Deploy your sky battalion. I was wondering when you'd be awake. You can blame Carol for that. She sleeps for like half a day. <sighs> totally worth it. Well, anyway, I got a call from that big panda guy I told you about. He's gonna help us. When is he coming? Actually, we have to go meet him. He'll be waiting for us north of here. Perfect. I fixed my radar last night so we can use it to find the meeting point. Great! Ready, girls? 
Aye, aye, Captain. To adventure! According to the radar, we seem to be at the right location. Um, I think it's a little off. This way! She's got a good nose. I'll say. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am General Gong of Shang Tu. It's an honor, General. The Royal Magister has a proposal. We'd like you to help us get the stone back. It's in the greedy little hands of Man Zhao in our neighbor city, Shang Mu. Why do you need our help? Don't you have soldiers and spies and stuff? We want to try and resolve this thing peacefully if we can, so we're sending a neutral party to negotiate. Given the, uh, current state of affairs in Shui Gong, they're out of the picture. So you need us to fly to Shang Mu and convince Zhao to give the stone back? Precisely! Let's give it a shot! Right, I assume we'll be taking one of these planes. Uh-huh, you do know how to fly it. Of course I do. <laughs> Good, when you get there, head straight for the city hall. Y yes sir. Quack. <laughs> Hope you're not afraid of heights. I'll be okay. You just had to follow me here, didn't you? How did you know we were coming? You seemed pretty determined to get that stone back. So you're the thief Lilac was talking about. I've been called worse. Where is it? I've already finished the job. It's time for my brother to play his hand. Your brother? Prince Dale of Shuigong. Really? When he finds the man who murdered our father, there will be no mercy for the kingdom responsible. We know who's responsible. Nice try. Will you just hold on a minute and let us explain? What, so you can throw me off again with your lies? Thanks, but I've had enough. Everyone, split up! We'll cut him off with a huge shopping mall over there! Got it!
right there, you sparkly twit! What did you call me? You think you can just walk into this conflict, don't you? Well, I have news for you. This isn't your fight! It was the moment you brought it to our home world! So, the Duckman couldn't keep his mouth shut. Well, I hope he realizes that he just cost you your life!
thing, Snake Man!
for the stone, you might want to look up. Enjoy your victory! Stop! Stop! We gotta go after them! Those airships would ghost us from a mile away. Remember what happened to me in the valley? There has to be a way. What about Mayor Zhao? It's gone! My one chance for re-election is gone! You! Over there! He's royalty? You have to bow! Oh! Very good. <clears throat> Rise. Are you the ones who disposed of this wretched mechanical beast? You bet we are. Glorious! As a token of my appreciation, I offer each of you free Rain Over Zhao Shopping Paradise! Uh, with this coupon! For 5% off selected brands! Aw, oh, what the heck? Why don't I just invite you over to dinner? My treat! I am pretty hung. What about the stone? That scoundrel prince took it from me! I won't even be able to chase him until my ships are repaired! Well, Mayor Zhao, we would be honored to be your guest this evening. Follow me, then. I shall drown your sorrows in delicious chow mein. Don't worry about taking turns. I'm sure you must be hungry. So have at it! Sushi! I love sushi! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that giant head on the wall over there? That's the pride of my collection! An ancient statue modeled after the dragons of the before time! What's special about them compared to, you know, someone like Lilac? What's special? Ha! Did you come from another planet or something? <coughs> Sorry. Long ago, a magnificent creature soared across Avalis in a ball of fire. When it landed, our ancestors were so captivated by its power and beauty that they built three kingdoms in its honor. Shangmu, Shangtu, and Shui Gan? Bingo! And when the cities were built, the dragon transformed into the legendary kingdom stone we know and love today. The same stone that was heartlessly yanked away from me. You took it first. Carol, manners. Sorry. 
Why did you take it? Why now? Shang Mu is on the brink of an energy crisis. With the stone in our hands, we could have solved it overnight. Well, that worked out well. I don't think this energy crisis of yours is an accident. I think it's deliberate, and I think we know who is responsible. Don't bore me with your lectures. I've heard them a thousand times from a thousand self-righteous warriors. Unless you have something useful to say, the only thing that matters to me is how quickly I can cast you aside. I really have a lot of work to do. <laughs> You'll fail. Men like you always fail. Interesting theory. Hello, sir. Have you beheaded the intruders yet? What is it? There is an incoming transmission from General Serpentine. The full moon is out! <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky! Don't relax just yet. Upload the scans and get back here immediately. Of course, my lord! Contact the crash site and tell them to refit our warp drive. I want the artifact to fit like a glove. As you wish, sir. We're getting off this rock. An alliance with Shang Tu. What a lovely idea. Oh, hey, Magister. Sorry about ambushing your soldiers and desecrating your temple. Let's go frolicking in the woods together with our makeup and pretty dresses. Your Excellency, we're a neutral party. Send us to speak on your behalf. If he won't listen to the greatest ruler in all of Avalis, why would he listen to a bunch of kids? Can we try? Pretty please? Just imagine how much people are going to love you for reuniting the three kingdoms against a common enemy. You'll be a hero. Me? A war hero? Let you mention it. I could use a few extra hands. So you'll help us then? Eh, what the heck? It's worth a shot. Yay! To the airship! Yes. But of course! It's equipped with everything you'll need for your trip, including your luxurious living quarters. Good luck, my friends! Thank you! Just imagine it, Carol. There are other worlds out there, just like ours. <gasps> we should go on a space adventure someday! Don't you think that'd be so cool? Are you kidding? It'd be the coolest thing ever! <laughs> I remember saying almost exactly the same thing. Did you have a change of heart? Not really, no. I guess I just wasn't prepared for the sacrifices I had to make. Just... Gotta keep moving forward with the mission, I guess. No point in thinking about a past that can't be changed. You're right. Um, <clears throat> how's the other girl doing? Mila? I'm not sure. Can you go check on her, Carol? Okie dokie. I'm gonna get some sleep. Well, I'm fine. You go on ahead. How's it going? I'm... I'm making a wish. Oh, what kind of wish? Well... I really want to see my mommy and daddy again. Sounds like a good thing to wish for. We're going...
going to be going inside soon. You want to come? Okay. Disable those ships and we're toast! <laughs>